Hi, Boo. Are you going to say good kitten, everyone? Mmm. That's good to hear. I know, you miss my father. So, if you didn't realize internet, I guess Boo doesn't want to be in this video. Put this around really fast. So if you didn't realize, Internet, uh, today is the anniversary of my father's death. It's the second anniversary. I've done Vita every time. Strange, he died in April, no wonder. And Boo Kitty was my father's cat, so it was appropriate that she would be here for this. And last year I decided to do something to kind of honor my father, namely play a game that he and I used to play together, and that was Beyond the Beyond. This year I'm going to be doing something very similar. Um, I'm actually going to be playing Shining Force 2, sort of. So I've sort of mentioned this before, I'm going to walk and talk. I've sort of mentioned this before, but I've been working on a Nuzlocke challenge of Shining Force 2. So a Nuzlocke is named after somebody, I'm just at my computer. Um, Nuzlocks are named after a person, I don't know if it was a Redditor originally or anything like that, but somebody who decided, you know, I'm going to play a Pokemon game where I'm going to just gather the first six Pokemon that I see, and I'm just going to play through, and if they die, then I grab somebody else. Rinse, repeat. This game, if you can't tell, is not a Pokemon game. Also, I bought this from somebody, apparently the original owners were had the last name Goldsmith, I'm assuming. <sighs> um... So, yeah, what I'm going to be doing is a very different type of Shining Force 2 game. So, Shining Force 2, for those that do not know, is a strategy RPG that is for the Sega Genesis. It is my first console RPG that I've ever played, even though it's not really a full console RPG. It is definitely a strategy RPG. And... My father was the one that actually picked out the game. So we were in Toys R Us at the time. The only games that I owned for my Genesis were platformers and a couple of arcade games. My father noticed that there was a RPG in the sliding glass counter area. And he pointed out, hey, look, this is, I think this is the type of game we'd like. Yep. And we played the crap out of that game. We actually played it constantly. We pretty much didn't have another game in our Genesis, ever. Unfortunately, Genesis was stolen oh, probably about nine to ten months after we bought it. Uh, we lost all of our games, current game of Shining Force 2 and everything. It was my father's favorite game for a console ever, to my knowledge. So, th yeah, this game's really important to me. It's also one of my favorite games on top of it, even outside of those memories. So, I'm I'm trying not to shake my hand too much. I didn't bother grabbing my tripod for some strange reason. So, I wanted to play this game, but I've played it a lot. Hence the Nuzlocke Challenge bit. Shining Force 2 is not a game that you collect random characters, though. You can't do something akin to Pokemon where you just get... You know, the first six characters, yeah, the first 12 characters. I've beaten Shining Force 2 with the first 12 characters before, and I've beaten Shining Force 2 without dying before. It's not that difficult for me at this point. But you know what is? Randomizing everything. So a friend of mine, um, online hander Reckner, and I basically worked together to create a randomized Nuzlocke of Shining Force 2. What we did is that we took a spreadsheet, which I'm probably putting on the screen right now, um, use that spreadsheet to randomize every single class in the game and every single spell in the game, with a few exceptions. I'm not going to go into too many details on this vlog. I'll go into details at a later video. And I hand the spreadsheet over to Rec. He ROM edits the game, and all of a sudden, I now have a Birdman as the main character from Shining Force 2. And from there, I'm going to take the first 12 characters, because 12 is your party size, and I'm going to attempt to use them without anybody dying or anything like that. If somebody dies, they're gone forever. If I do have a total party wipe, I may end up dropping the Nuzlocke challenge part of it, just because this is a little weird. I have no idea how well this will work. So yeah, I mean, there's a few exceptions to the rules, and once more, I'm going to go over the rules when I actually start my Nuzlocke challenge, but for now, that, that's about it. 
Also, I decided to do this totally awesome and cool looking mix of the intro to Shining Force 2, which is going to be at the end of this video. I felt like it. Don't watch it if you don't want to. Good night, Internet, and I hope you all have good kittens. I do miss my father, but it's getting better. Yeah.